Hey guys, so this week I'm doing week 38 update and this week I'm actually feeling a lot better than last week. Last week I was just exhausted and grossed out at myself and I was just not in a happy place. I was really uncomfortable. And this week I'm just feeling a little bit more positive and energetic. I cleaned the entire nursery, I organized everything. The nursery is pretty much set with a few little extra things that I have to do here and there. So I just feel like I've done so much and I'm kind of prepared. My mom came over and we cleaned the bathrooms like a deep clean. We scrubbed the showers. I mean, she scrubbed the showers and I kind of cleaned outside the bathroom. <laughs> um, but basically, I feel ready. Um, I have to broom and sweep and vacuum, but basically the house is clean and organized. All the laundry is completely clean. So if she does come right now, my mind will be at ease. Um, I'm also going to work from home from this point forward. I have probably six days left to work, if that, maybe five, five to six days left. So I am going to be working from home during that period. Still working just from home. I need to do some SOPs and a couple of things that I just have to get done before I leave. Um, but I'm, again, kind of at ease. If I were to go right now, I'm okay with even my work-related things. <laughs> so. I am, I think, more calm and just prepared. So, um, before I get started, I wanted to show you, before I get started, I already gave you like a whole spiel. Audrey's, Audrey, I'm, I've already started this Audrey Aria mess, but Aria's sleeping in the next room, and I'm afraid that she's gonna get up. She's already in her big girl bed, so she can kind of get up and walk around. I wanted to show you guys some things that I got from one of my subscribers. I honestly felt so honored to get anything when she reached out to me, asking me for my address so she can send me some things. I was like, oh my god, this is so cute. I've been meaning to make a separate video to show you guys, but I haven't had the time, so I'm just going to include it in this video. And it's this cute little anchors outfit with red little buttons and it comes with cute little pants and this adorable little onesie super super cute she also got us a bunch of stuff she got us some christmas bibs i love bibs you can never have enough bibs and then this cute little shirt that goes with these pants a little santa in the booty i think aria's up and then this um sleeper very cute super adorable and she got Aria this little outfit it's pants just black little leggings with this cute little shirt and I have to wash it so she can wear it and I can show her a picture of her in it because I haven't I've been meaning to make this video and I didn't want to watch it until then so Thank you so much. This was super cute and super um, exciting to receive. Oh, sorry. She also, the bag was a little heavy. She also sent me these earrings and this keychain because my baby shower was anchors. So it was cute little anchor earrings and an anchor matching keychain. So, 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 so cute. So thank you so much for everything, Yasmin. I really appreciate you taking the time to even pick anything out for us and sending us anything. So thank you, thank you, thank you so much. We love everything. And um, also, one of you, a couple of you, were asking if I'm going to film Audrey's birth. Yes, I am. I wish I could film more of it because I'm kind of weird like that. I want to see everything. And it is a C-section, so it does get kind of graphic. But... I just really want to see the whole thing and as you know if you have a c-section they kind of block you off so you don't see anything so it's kind of frustrating for me and that's why I wanted my husband to film Arya's c-section kind of like perfect the second they let him see to film everything so I can see kind of what was happening that I couldn't see because I was kind of blocked off so um, I even asked my doctor if I would be able to set up the camera on the other side and kind of see the whole c-section and he said that unfortunately it's really not up to him it's up to the hospital and they have policies and blah 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 he said no so he said you can only start filming the second I let you start film filming which is basically when the baby starts coming out the second the head starts coming out then he lets the husband see everything and film everything and I understand why they can't kind of see anything beforehand just because He's had a lot of 
patients where the husband or whoever's there during the c-section has fainted with kind of just the first cut and they've actually fainted over the, the surgery table so it's a hazard but that's why I kind of said I can set it up so Jamie's not watching it it's literally just on camera so I could see it afterwards and he said that I couldn't so unfortunately we can't film the entire c-section but we will be filming the whole experience from our view just like we did with Arya that was something that I I love that video I mean every time I see it I cry and it's great to be able to see things that I wasn't able to see because I'm laying on a table so they kind of take her and clean her and stuff like that and I don't see those things and also kind of the second she comes out I can't see that but now it's on film and I love that video I'll go ahead and link it down below I think I had to do it in two parts I really filmed everything and I loved capturing all those things so my camera just died and I had to restart it but this time around I actually want to film from like our experience from the car like our drive from the house to the hospital the paperwork that we have to do how long we're left in the pre-operating room and what kind of goes on there kind of so you guys get a complete overview of what happens during a c-section obviously there's times where I can't film like when they're doing my spinal tap and so forth but um, I'm gonna try to film as much as I can and make kind of a whole video together. Besides that I've been extremely thirsty and craving lots of ice and particularly crushed ice. I can't have just the huge cubes. I need crushed ice and I literally put like 75% of the cup as crushed ice and the rest water. And I know that's a sign of anemia. I've been anemic my entire life and heard that a lot. However, I haven't been anemic since I got pregnant with Aria and my last appointment the doctor did say that I was a little, little tiny bit anemic. I mentioned that in a previous vlog, but he wasn't concerned about it. So I'm sure I'm a little anemic, but not really a big deal. And that's why I'm eating so much ice. But it's kind of good because I've been drinking a lot of water and staying away from caffeine. Or at least not as bad as I was before. Because in the middle of my pregnancy or towards the beginning of my pregnancy, I was craving a lot of Coke, which is terrible, I know. But that's kind of what I was craving. And I don't really drink coffee at all. Um, besides ones in a blue moon at Starbucks but um, co coke is like my addiction and really bad and actually this week I've been grossed out with coke so if I do go somewhere and somebody kind of just gave me a coke I've had a little bit but I've been kind of thinking that it tastes gross which is great news hopefully I'm completely out of my coke addiction because that is so bad I don't know what my problem is with coke but it's so bad it's like I don't know if it's the sugar or what it is but opening a can of coca-cola is the most refreshing thing for me or it was this week it has not been this week it's tasted really gross I've probably had two cokes so far and it's been it's been gross so um, that is about it lots of energy this week lots of kind of just I'm in a relaxed state right now because I feel like everything that should have been done is done. My hospital bag is packed. The baby bag is packed. Everything is done. And if I'm needing to go right now, I am okay with that. So that's it for this week. If you guys have any more questions, let me know. And I'll go ahead and show you the baby bump now. Bye, guys. That was Yami just texting me, and how cute is she? Everywhere she goes, she thinks about us. <laughs> she found that for Audrey, and she's like, oh my god, I have to totally buy it.